a new cabinet is sworn in. Five months into his government, President Ollanta Humala dismissed more than half of his ministers, raising obvious questions about the stability of his administration. Hours before his appointment, the incoming prime minister, a retired army officer, sought to calm the nation. There is no crisis of the cabinet. What is happening is that a readjustment of the cabinet is taking place as is usual. The president of the republic has the ability to modify, to readjust, to make some changes, some refining to the cabinet, and that is what has been done. Analysts say Valdez's predecessor, Salomón Lerner, lost his job because of disagreements with the president over his handling of the Cajamarca conflict, where thousands of indigenous Peruvians continue to protest against a $4.8 billion mine project. The protesters pretended to impose decisions on the government. As a result, the authority of the government was questioned, and no government can tolerate that. Many people here believe that the president reshuffled his cabinet to strengthen government unity, something that has suffered recently due to increased public disagreements and confrontations between ministers. Unity and strength at the ministerial level will be important if President Humala is to resolve some 200 social conflicts, like the Cajamarca protest. Every cabinet must show a profound cohesion. As we say, the dirty clothes must be washed at home. Issues must not be discussed in public because that weakens the government. As the new prime minister is a former military man, Many people expect the government to now take a tougher line against the protesters. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.